Jose, I heard you say pitch side that it was a fresh team against a really tired team. I just wondered how you get the rest into your players ahead of the remaining games of the season and obviously what's going to be a really big battle to get into the top four. You know, first of all, I believe that uh, this week was a very special week where we played uh, Wednesday and, uh, and Saturday. I honestly don't know why, because uh, if I'm not wrong, Man City doesn't play Tuesday or Wednesday at Champions League. I think that that Champions League match is on uh, the next week. Our game in Europa League is on Thursday. Uh, why did we play this game on Saturday when we could play Sunday? But that's a different, a different question. And, uh, there is no point of going in, in that direction. Uh, it's a special week also in the sense that we played under 20 minutes, which was uh, really, really difficult to play uh, today again. I don't think this is a situation that is going to happen many times uh, during the, the season. Um, tomorrow is the day off for the players, the first day off for quite a long time. And then we have three days until the Europa League match, which I believe is going to bring uh, the players to to a normal level in terms of their uh, physicality to play the next uh, the next match. Another situation is um, to have uh, players back, and by having back of um, of rotation uh, when you have, uh, for example, Reguilon back, you have Reguilon Ben Davis. Uh, when you have uh, uh, Giolo Celso back, uh, Giolo Celso uh, gives you situations in relation to to Tangi, in relation to to Ivier, uh, give us also solutions. And some of the other guys, I hope that they can also come to a better level, uh, a better level that allows them to play. And when they are ready to play, when they are ready to start matches, then you have more players to to rotate. Of course, is uh, is important then to have um, to have that that um, availability from from the squad. How was um, Son when he got the knock towards the end? And what did you think also of Gareth Bale? Um, in the little time that he was on today? Well, he has a wound in his ankle. A wound means a stud. A stud in the ankle means a card. I don't think a red. So the VAR can only interfere for the red. I don't think a red. But if that is not a yellow, and the referee was five meters distance, but is a wound uh, in the ankle. Hopefully, nothing big, and uh, that's it. Uh, what's the other question, Gareth? I think it was okay. I think it was okay. Um, of course, um, one training session with with the team, one two. No more. Of course, not ready for uh, much more than than this. A positive feeling. We had a we had a good action. Could score a goal. No problems after. No problems after the match. Let's see if we can we can play Thursday or if not Thursday next weekend because uh, players of, of good quality, when they are fit, they can add something to the team. So if it's fit and if it's available, welcome. Hi Jose, um, about Deli Ali as well, how do you think he did and how big of a role is it for both Gareth and Deli to play between now and the end of the season if you are going to achieve top four in your goals? I mean, how big a role will they play? 
good players when they are fit and when they are ready and when they can are always welcome always welcome we coach you sometimes we we can make uh, wrong decisions we all do but not one of us is crazy so not one of us says i don't want this player to help me when and help the team when the player has the potential and the condition team needs needs everyone we miss uh, geo for a long long time we miss uh, regulon for a, for a few weeks if we can have them back if we can have uh, Dele and, and Garrett uh, fit and and ready to uh, to play is a big improvement in in our squad